The market's been a bit all over the place today. You know, we've seen prices go down, we've seen prices go up. Now we're in a decent position. We're seeing Bitcoin hopefully going to push to that $50,000 region. It's going to be tough to break, but once we do break it, we're going to hopefully see really nice runs up for Bitcoin up to 54, 55,000. We'll be covering that today. As well as Ethereum doing well, you know, still down a little bit, but hopefully it's going to recover to 3,400 plus. And then also we're looking at two altcoins, XRP and Solana, two altcoins you guys have been requesting. So let's get straight into it. If you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more, and let's get straight into it. Enjoy. So the market is down a little bit overall on the global crypto market cap. However, we've had a bit of a crazy day. We know we saw a little bit of a dump earlier on, which is why I've waited a little bit longer to make this video because I saw a bit of a resurgence happening. And now we see Bitcoin up 2% today and we see other coins that were down a bit more actually being closer to being positive. So today we'll be talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and as I said, also Solana and XRP. In terms of fundamentals, Tom uh, talks a lot about XRP on this channel, so you can go back and watch some of those chan or some of the videos on the channel if you're interested. But today I'll be covering purely the technicals. So right now we can see the biggest gainers are Shiba Inu having a huge pump up, 63% on the week, 33% on the last 24 hours. We've got Axie Infinity up 15%, 116% on the week as well, and a few other coins just doing great, great things. We also do have some coins down, but only about 5 or 6%, so nothing to worry about there. In my opinion, the market is looking very bullish, and uh, we'll get into why in a second. So here you can see, this is blockchaincenter.net, uh, showing us the old coin season index, right? So this is kind of how it works. It shows where we are on a potential altcoin season uh, compared to a Bitcoin season, whether our money should be in Bitcoin, whether our money should be in altcoins, etc., etc. So in terms of the altcoin season index, uh, you can see we're about halfway through, we're about 49 uh, kind of in the middle. Um, so a bit of a toss up. You can see here on the altcoin index, a yearly index, we're closer to altcoins. Uh, so that means, you know, on the year we are seeing more profits with altcoins. And then on the month, it is more of a Bitcoin month than an altcoin month. And you can see here, we've also had this uh, chart over the past past year or so. So I would say it's well, clearly from here, it's not altcoin season yet, but it's also not Bitcoin season. It's more like we've had a Bitcoin month. We've seen Bitcoin take a bit of dominance this month so far, but I do think we will start to see more money flow into altcoins very, very shortly. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens there. And in terms of the fear and greed index, which you guys know the, the, the saying, which is when you should buy when there's a lot of fear and uh, sell when there's a lot of greed. And you can see we're about neutral on it, so nothing to worry about, but also maybe not the best or most optimal time to pick stuff up. But you can see here, you should always follow the general rule of if things are looking a bit greedy, like if the market's just going up and up and up, that's when the greed will start to go up and up and up. And that's when we'll see, you know, a really, really good time to start selling and taking profit and vice versa with the fear. Um, and that is when we can see a really good time to start picking stuff up. So let's look at some technicals. Let's start off with Bitcoin itself. So Bitcoin itself has uh, done something pretty good. You know, it's broken this downtrend on the daily chart. And if we look down towards uh, one of the key levels, you can see that this for me is still a key level that we could come to and bounce off. Now, like I said in the previous video, yeah, we are showing a very, very violent uptrend pattern. So the fact that it did just kind of liquidate this instead and, and push up, that actually makes sense to me. Um, and I do think if we do break above 49,000, then we'll probably make a straight push up to uh, around 52 to $54,000. So that is what I would see happening there for Bitcoin. And uh, I would say if we do come down lower, however, this is the level for me that I'd be looking to pick some up, which is between 44 dollars and $45,000. So that is pretty much all we can say on Bitcoin right now. We are seeing a really healthy push up though. And I really do want to see things push above $49,278. If we go to the one hour chart, we can even see further. We are coming into this key level of resistance here or supply. And that is around $48,500 or so. And so I also wouldn't be surprised to see us go down from here. But there's a nice level of demand as well, waiting for us around $47,500. So if the price was to come back down, we could retest quite nicely and push up higher. Now, guys, if you're not already in the Crypto Busy Patreon group or the Discord group, we have this group uh, where you guys can subscribe to it each month. And we have around a thousand members in there right now each actively trading cryptocurrency or investing in cryptocurrency and we've got a lot of different perks you guys can check out the website the link down below patreon.com slash crypto busy uh, to check out all the perks and stuff you can get but we do monthly webinars me and tom for you guys 
we do exclusive insights that you're not going to get on the channel. Uh, we have technical analysis daily. We have news daily. Uh, you can also interact with our admins as well as us from time to time. So there's a lot going on in that group. And if you guys are interested, it's the beginning of the month, so the best time to join. Uh, we also have monthly calls every month on the best coins that we think are going to do well. So uh, yeah, definitely check that out and hope to see you guys over there. So now taking a look at Ethereum, we can see we are rebounding off this area of demand right now. Uh, we saw, you know, this this wick here shows us there's a lot of indecision of buy pressure and sell pressure. And now we are pushing up towards 3,400 once again. Now, this will be interesting to see how we close here. For me, we do need to break above 3,424 over here. I would really like to break above 3,433 as well. And for me, then that would mean we are pushing up higher. We can mitigate this zone and we $3,860 as our next target. So for me, that is what I'm looking at. And that is what I'll see for Ethereum. Now, XRP, you guys have been requesting for ages. So I thought we'll put that on the technicals agenda for today. So we can see here, uh, we had this level of demand that has been filled multiple times. We saw push up. This was the last time I did the analysis. I said that it was going to push up a little bit, come down, retest, and then push up and break, hopefully, this level here, which is $1.01. And we have seen a break of $1.01, which means uh, we are now good to push up higher. And we can see we've already tested this level again, and uh, we are seeing the uptrend continue. Now, on the shorter term scale, we can see, uh, if we just look over here, we have actually broken this structure here uh, to the downside multiple times. And that is usually a bad sign. However, this coupled with the fact that we have already just broken out of this level actually doesn't make me too worried because I do reckon this level will probably hold. We can go to the one hour and we can see there has been a break of structure to the upside. There hopefully will be another one just similar to how we looked at with Ethereum. It was above $1.06. Then we can see a nice push because not only do we have or do we see uh, the technicals looking good, but also we have the lawsuits going on. We have a lot of behind the scenes fundamental stuff going on. And like I said, Tom's the person to ask about that. Tom's videos will give you the most detail about that if you check them out on the channel as well. Um, but basically, that if that all goes well in our favor as well, then we're going to see really good gains for XRP. And Tom actually thinks we'll actually see a new all time high coming this year for it if that all goes to plan because XRP is one of those coins that actually hasn't reached its or surpassed its all-time high uh, in what multiple years three years four years almost so uh, that is what we're thinking for xrp now let's move on to solana to finish off and solana again has done what we've been looking at it's been in this downward channel uh until we hit this level of demand around 118 dollars and then we pushed up we broke this i was waiting for this to break which is 152 we broke that we retested and then i was waiting for 171 to break and now we've broken that in my opinion We'll probably, if we're still going to follow this aggressive trend, and knowing Solana, you know, it does have a habit of doing this, we'll probably test this key level here of, uh, of demand and then push straight up from there. If we do not do that, however, we can come down and we can test this level here. Uh, as this level two could act as a, uh, as a pretty good level to push up from. So that is what I would say for Solana. And in terms of targets, uh, I would actually look towards $200 plus once again for Solana because uh, I mean I think it's it's worth it and also I think that is where the major levels lie. So if that all makes sense and you've learned something then please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and help us get to 200,000 subscribers. We're literally like I think 800 subscribers away right now. Any help is appreciated and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.